In this video, we'll be practicing identifying theme by reading the picture book Elmer by David McKee. As we read, please pay attention to some of the underlying meanings, some of the deeper things that may go along and be those themes of this picture book, and please enjoy. Elmer by David McKee. There was once a herd of elephants. Elephants young, elephants old, elephants tall and short, fat and thin. All were different, but all were happy, and almost all were the same color. All except Elmer. Elmer was not elephant color. He was patchwork. Elmer was yellow and orange and red and pink and purple and blue and green and black and white. It was Elmer who kept the other, ele the other elephants happy. Their games and jokes were always his idea. If an elephant was laughing, the cause was usually Elmer. But Elmer himself wasn't happy. Who ever heard of a patchwork elephant, he thought. No wonder they laugh at me. One morning, just as the others were waking up, Elmer slipped away. As he walked through the jungle, Elmer met other animals. Good morning, Elmer, they said. After a long walk, Elmer found what he was looking for, a large bush covered with elephant colored berries. Elmer caught hold of the bush and shook it until the berries fell on the ground. Then Elmer lay down and rolled over on the berries, this way and that. He picked up bunches of berries and rubbed himself all over until he was covered with berry juice. When he had finished, there wasn't a sign of any yellow or orange or red or pink or purple or blue or green or black or white. Elmer looked like any other elephant. On his way back through the jungle, Elmer passed the other animals. Good morning, elephant they said. When Elmer rejoined the herd, none of the ele other elephants noticed him. As he stood there, Elmer felt that something was wrong. But what? He looked around. Same old jungle. Same old blue sky. Same old rain cloud. Same old elephants. The other elephants were standing absolutely still, silent and serious. Elmer had never seen them so serious before. It made him want to laugh. Finally, he could bear it no longer. He lifted his trunk and at the top of his voice shouted, Boo! The other elephants jumped in surprise. Elmer was helpless with laughter. Then the others began to laugh. Too bad Elmer isn't here to share the fun, they said, laughing harder and harder. And then the rain cloud burst. When the rain fell on Elmer, his patchwork started to show again. Oh, Elmer, gasped an old elephant as Elmer was washed back to normal. You've played some good jokes, but this has been the biggest laugh of all. What would we do without you? We must celebrate this day every year, said another. The day of Elmer's best joke. All of us elephants will decorate ourselves in his honor, said a third, and Elmer will decorate himself elephant color. And one day each year, the elephants color themselves yellow or orange or red or pink or purple or blue or green or black or white and have a parade. If you happen to see an elephant in the Elmer's Day Parade who is ordinary elephant color, you will know it must be Elmer. the end.
So now that we've read Elmer, what do you think are the themes of this picture book? Take a few moments to sit and think. What do you think the author meant? What was the message they were trying to get across? What was the underlying meaning or purpose of this story? So here's a few possible themes for Elmer that you also might have thought about. One of the themes could be to be yourself. The book is about Elmer being different from the rest of the pack and how that's okay. Uh, variety is a theme or variety being the spice of life. Without the variety that Elmer brought, life would have been pretty boring for the rest of the elephants. Other themes could include optimism or humor. The author is just trying to impart those feelings of, hey, being different can make everybody happier, can make everybody laugh. But of course, don't just limit it to these themes. If you thought of something different that you think you got from Elmer, it might have been something that the author was trying to get across and you picked up on it. Some questions for the road. What's an example of a time you were being different from the rest of the pack? Did being different help you or the people around you in some way? Second question, would this story have worked with any other animals or creatures? If so, which ones do you think it would work with, and why or why not? That's the end of our discussion and look at the themes of Elmer. I hope you've enjoyed this story. Have an awesome day.